More young people than ever are expected to flood into Vancouver this summer. Shelter will be a major need. In a lot of cases, the only thing that a lot of kids know what to do is to run. Well, we're loosely structured to help kids who have problems or who are in trouble. We'll find him a place. There's no hassle there. Cool, eh? Yes. Right. Hello, Danny. Well, I, I got one here for 70 a month, or 18 a week. We're often involved with uh, especially young girls who are about to be returned to their parents when they've run away. And if there are any difficulties with this sort of thing, we would try and help out with it. Of all the girls that have said hello There's only one I've got to know And her name is Georgie Kinda like a story The only one for me They'll get us a place to stay and it's real cool because I'm not allowed at home and this is fine with me. How about anything particular about the way you live here that suits you? Yeah, it's something like a real family. And I never had that. How come you left your home? Because it wasn't like a home. I mean, my father and I didn't get along. Wasn't there something you said about being kicked out? Yeah, I was kicked out. Quite a few times. How old are you, Vicky? Pardon? How old are you? 17. No, it's just for one day. We're just going to uh, cook the feed in and, and get it out on the street, and we'll do the dishes elsewhere. There's no hassle there at all. The, the main thing, though, is getting a place to cook, especially these days, like we're getting kicked out of everywhere. How many kids do you have to cook for? Well, during the summer, we had as many as 150 some days. Right now, we have uh, between 25 and 50. But they still have to be fed. In here we got brown rice. Cheapest thing we can get. <laughs> and the uh, cabbage there at uh, 490 for a great 70 pounds or something. The rice is uh, $14 for 100 pounds. And we get. I, uh, I put uh, lots of spices in because I'm a spice freak. Spices are good anyway. Hey, how about this, Remy? Most yeah. people would always put you down as being a hippie, yeah. right? Yeah. And yet you're looking after all these kids. How does that make you feel? Well, I don't yeah. care what the other people think. I used to care a lot, but now I just stick my finger up. Yeah. Oh. carved out a, a role for ourselves in providing some emotional support, um, mainly a, a haven that they could come to and kind of relax at. Uh, it gets them off the streets, it relieves them from a lot of the pressures of, uh, of what's going on in the streets, which may not be in every case very pleasant. Um, they can come here, they listen to music, they sleep late, they just get a very good rest, they have some time to take stock of themselves. and. Um, I think they can, they can identify with a real family for, in many cases, the first time in their lives. Uh, many from broken homes can see how a husband and wife and child operate. We have one little child. And um, it just gives them, I think, some insights that married people don't have to be um, yelling at each other all the time or 
doing the things that most um, broken homes have led up to. How many of you would, would, would leave home right now if you had the opportunity? And of those you 40 people, how many of you feel your parents know this? But, uh, Mayor Tom Campbell is, uh, is against this idea. I believe he sees it as merely another hippie hangout. What actually happens here? Well, I don't really think um, Mayor Tom Campbell is against Kool-Aid, as a matter of fact, because I think Kool-Aid agrees with Mayor Tom Campbell. What we're interested in is people that want to um, be able to eat a decent meal, have a place to stay, look for a job, we want to provide them with the resources to do this. We're not interested in providing a place for people to hang out. We're not interested in providing a place for people to beg or to just sit around and do nothing. Essentially what we're doing is we're trying to mobilize the community resources so that young people, when they want to, can make use of them.